OpenAI just released ChatGPT Agent Mode and it took the internet by a storm. So for the next 24 hours, I will let ChatGPT Agent take control of my life. It planned my entire day, ordered my meals, booked hotels, and even audited my YouTube channel like a pro. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed, I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students on Udemy and Coursera. And on this channel, I break down AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple and practical way. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I open ChatGPT, and here I have the Plus version. If you go to Tools, you should be able to see Agent Mode. And please note that this is brand new and they are allowing me to run it 27 times only up until August 24th. You just go ahead, click on agent mode. And what I was thinking is maybe I need to book a few days of vacation in Mexico City in December. So I'm going to say find a five star hotel in Mexico City on booking.com for two adults, basically giving clear instruction to the chat GPT agent. And let's go ahead and run it. What you see here with ChatGPT Agent is that now this AI model has access to tools. So it can search the internet, it has its own desktop, it has its own computer, and it can open browsers and it can navigate, make decision, reason, act, come back, and so on. So here we go. So now ChatGPT Agent is setting up a desktop and it understood the task. And now it's looking at booking.com and here we go. So now you should be able to see a browser that opened up. Again, if you have never seen this, I think this is kind of mind blowing. And right now we are seeing the future of internet where chat GPT and these large language models are doing actions on your behalf. So now you have booking.com open. Now it's actually moving the mouse, which is unbelievable. And now it's going to select Mexico City. And now you should be able to see the dates as well. They are being selected. It's also selecting right now two adults. And please note that, again, it's not perfect. I'm not saying this is great yet. But think of this as the iPhone moment when it was released 15 or 20 years ago. And just imagine the progress that we have done. So here we go. So now it's actually picking two adults. It selected the dates right. Now it selected Mexico City. It found 2,000 properties. And now let's see if it's able to meet our requirements. So please note that ChatGPT agent takes actually quite a long time to perform a task. So it takes around 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the task. If you wanted to go ahead and see what the agent's actually doing, you can click on activity here and you should be able to see all the tasks or subtasks that have been created and the actions as well. And if you go up here, you can also take over browser. So if you'd like to take over, and help the agent to maybe bypass a certain step, you will be able to do that as well. Please go ahead and you can click on the desktop view and now you should be able to see it is kind of creating its own subtasks. It is taking action here on that browser and it is moving the mouse and navigating. It's looking for facilities because here I ask it to look for a gym. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the video and then I'm gonna be back when this task is completed. All right, so here we go. Now you'll see the agent worked for nine minutes. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see a list of all the hotels. These are the different prices, the amenities and the notes as well. Again, pretty amazing. Please note that you can take over there and you can enter your credit card information and you can even allow the agent to book the ticket directly or book the hotel directly. I couldn't trust the AI agent yet, but maybe in the next video, I'm gonna give it my credit card information. And if you go up, you should be able to see here work for nine minutes. If you go ahead and click on it, now you should be able to see a replay of what the agent did behind the scenes. You can go ahead and you can run it here and you can see exactly what went on. And this will be saved here in your discussions with ChatGPT. All right, so the next example that I would like to share with you is I gave ChatGPT agent control to my Google Calendar and I ask it to do this task. Let me show you. So here I simply ask it to manage my calendar. So I wanted to manage the next week from Monday, August 4th to August 8th. And I want you to optimize health, family and work. 
And this are kind of the overall view of what the agent I'm asking you to do. Daily time for physical activity, dedicated quality family time, focus blocks for deep work like teaching and research, and space for admin and meetings. So what you could do is you can just go ahead, copy that prompt, you can go back, you can enable here chat GPT agent mode. And what you could do is now you can enable connectors. So I can give it access to my Gmail account. I can even access, give it access here to a web search capability and also to my GitHub repository as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my Gmail account. So let's go ahead and click on sources. You click on Gmail and now it's going to tell you, well, I'm going to connect OpenAI to our Gmail. I'm going to say continue to Gmail. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot. And if you want to access all the code scripts, all the prompts, please go ahead and join our AI community. Link in the description below. Here I selected a, my Gmail account. And please note that I just created this account just for security purposes. And please make sure not to share your main Gmail account. Again, all of that is still under experimentation. You can go ahead and click on continue. And you can go ahead and click on continue as well. And now chat GPT agent has control to your Gmail. So now it's basically connected and it's telling you that Gmail is now connected. Let's go ahead and copy that prompt and let's go ahead and paste it here. And let's see if chat GPT agent is able to take control over my calendar. So here we go. So now it is setting up the desktop. It is thinking and it's going to start the browser and let's see if it's able to do these tasks for us. So what you notice right now is that ChatGPT agent is in the reading mode and now it's reading. Okay, how can I optimize my calendar based on the requirements? So it's reading kind of the daily routine, the morning habits for peak focus. Again, pretty mind blowing, in fact. And let's see if it's able to come up with a nice schedule and actually book calendar as well. So even it's reading more additional resources here and how to build a science based daily routine, which is incredible. All right, so here we go. Chat GPT agent was able to come up with design principles for my calendar. So it came up with high energy periods. Peak focus typically occurs in the morning and later afternoons. It's telling you you need to take regular breaks and it set down the schedule for me every single day of the week. Actually, I'm pretty happy with it. You can see deep work, lunch, meetings and so on. And now it's telling you, OK, I've created an iCalendar file for these events. I can import that in Google Calendar. Do you want to do that or not? I'm going to say, sure, please. Yes, go ahead. And you press enter. And now it opened a new browser and it's trying to access my calendar, basically, that I gave it access to in my Gmail account. So what you notice, it actually stopped here because I signed in with two Gmail accounts. So it's asking me, OK, which one you'd like to choose? You can go ahead and select log in. And now I'm taking control over the browser. And now I'm going to select the this one here, which is the one that I just created just for safety purposes. And you can go ahead and just insert your password here as well. So here we go. So now I wrote down my password and now ChatGPT agent has control over my calendar. So I'm going to say finish controlling and let's wait and see if it's able to go ahead and book meetings basically on my calendar. So here we go. So now it's actually moving and it's trying to select the dates, which is August 3rd to August 9th that I selected in my initial prompt. Um, how incredible is this? Let's wait and see. I think this is a groundbreaking moment where we are seeing kind of a birth of a new Internet. What we had before is just a simple chat to a large language model. And now we're moving to AI agents taking control of a lot of our work, a lot of our tasks. And we are predicting that now employees will be working with AI agents. And now there's a lot of skill to learn when it comes to managing those AI agents. And look at this right now, GPT agent is taking control of my calendar and it is trying to create the first event. And right now it is adjusting the time. So it's trying to book the first time slot. So it selected the day correct. But it seems that it goes back and forth, so it cancels the event and then it tries to book it again. So let's wait and see. So here we go. So now ChatGPT agent was able to select the correct time. It was able to also select or add a title. So let's wait and see if it's able to actually book an event directly on my calendar. Please note that it has been taking a very long time, so it's not perfect yet. 
but it's a glimpse into the future. So here we go, an event has been created. So let's go ahead and watch it here on my calendar. And here we go. Congratulations, Chad GPT agent was able to book a calendar invite directly on my calendar. And that's all I have for this quick demo. All right, so the next example that I would like to share with you is the ability of Chad GPT agent to help you in your work. So you can use it to perform research on your behalf, do an analysis, maybe adjust your strategy, for example, at work. So what I've done here is I wanted to ask, and this is actually one of the tasks that I wanted to do myself, is I wanted Chad GPT agent to go ahead and audit my YouTube channel. I have been recently active on YouTube and I wanted to perform first a channel audit. I wanted to see the content relevancy and clarity. I wanted to perform also competitive benchmarking, like what topics I should select and what are the gaps and opportunities as well that need to be addressed. So really all I need to do is to copy this prompt and go ahead and paste it over there into ChatGPT agent mode. So what I've done is I ran this prompt already and it took around 10 minutes to do the analysis and I was shocked by the results. So what you see here, this is a quick replay of what ChatGPT agent was able to do. It was able to actually look up my YouTube channel. It was able to even check out the recent videos as well. And here we go. So now it's actually reading, kind of a reading mode, reading the channel. It's going to even scan through the description of some of these videos. It's going to analyze all the comments as well that viewers commented on my channel. It's going to see the level of engagement. It counted the number of subscribers. It got the number of views. And I found ChatGPT agent work amazingly well when it comes to conducting research because behind the scenes it's actually powered by the deep research capability that we have already in ChatGPT. So here we go. It's actually analyzed one of the recent videos that I've got. I spent six months learning Copilot and AI agent. This video is kind of going viral right now. And if you actually go ahead and run it a little bit, it actually opened my YouTube channel and it was able to read the description, it's able to check out as well all the recent videos. It read also all the comments. I'm just going to go through a quick run here just for the sake of time. It's able to read all the different description. It went out and checked the competition. I would say here sources as well. And it came up with this incredible report. So what you see that this is a channel audit and I was amazed by the quality of this. It's going to tell you these are the number of subscribers, these are the number of videos, these are the engagement. And it's telling you what are the strengths for the channel, for example, what are the weaknesses. And now I have a plan and strategy powered by artificial intelligence for my next few videos. You can find here competitive benchmarking. So it actually selected some of the fellow YouTubers like StackQuest. I'm actually a big fan as well to, uh, with uh, Josh Starmer. You also see Ken G as well. And if you scroll down, you see gaps and opportunities. What should I do here? I should be most maybe more up to date with the latest updates. These are the content gaps. Again, I'm pretty amazed by the plan that came up with here. So it's telling me in weeks one and four, that's what I need to do. These are weeks five and six, weeks nine and 12. And it's telling me exactly what to do. And what I'm gonna do is actually gonna follow exactly this strategy here. I'm gonna include more shorts and I'm gonna keep you updated in future videos. All right, so the next example that I would like to share with you is, well, I wanted ChatGPT agent to order, let's say, sushi meal for me. And here I put an address in Toronto and I give it here some instructions as well. It's able to actually open Uber Eats. It was able to navigate. It was able to select as well the address that I put here. And if you go ahead and keep it running for a while, so they will see it was able to open Uber Eats here. It understood that I'm looking for sushi and you should be able to see here a list of different offers as well. So it was looking for the best optimal offer. And let's keep going. You will see here it was able to select a few meals. And here I had to actually take control. And this was the final part. So it was able to proceed here with the healthy option. So if I keep going, now you should be able to see it was able to add to the cart this meal, which is sashimi 12 piece set and a cucumber macchi roll as well. And it's also selected the restaurant. And of course you can go ahead, give it your credit card information here and allow it to go and order. I haven't done that yet. Maybe in the next video, I will have the guts to do that. So the next example that I would like to share with you is the ability of chat GPT agent to be able to create a presentation for us and also to do extensive research when it comes to planning a trip. 
For example, I'm going to say create a fun and visually engaging PowerPoint presentation to my friends who are visiting Toronto for one week, include the top 10 must watch attractions, I included that here I have seven day itinerary. So if you go ahead and let it run, here it ran for five seconds, ask me are there any specific dietary restrictions. I mentioned here the budget and I mentioned as well that there are no dietary restrictions. Basically what it came up with after 42 minutes, which is a very long time, is uh, let me show you a quick walkthrough of what the agent did. It was able to scan the entire internet, look for Niagara, city cruises, different prices to manage the budget. I put a very large budget to allow it to select as many options as possible. If you keep going, you will find that these are the different locations, picked up different restaurants. It executed sample code and it was able to create a PowerPoint presentation. Of course, the presentation needs much better formatting, I would say, but it's a very good start. So you'll find that this is what the presentation basically came up with. So here I got the local food and drinks. And if you keep going, you'll find this is the PPTX format here. And I should be able to go ahead and download the presentation. I'm assuming OpenAI will improve the formatting, but overall, great job. And you should be able to see a summary as well here of all the top attractions and of exact plan and cost breakdown of every single item and what to do by the hour. And that's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this one. I've got a lot of AI tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.